One of the more interesting phenomenon I've noticed since I've been doing more of these long rides is sometimes my hands get cold first and more and sometimes my feet get cold first and more. I do have a Bachelor's of Science in Biology. The body shunts most of the blood to the core of the body this is why the hands and feet typically are colder and more prone to frostbite and other types of things. The weird thing for me, however, is that this doesn't seem to be exactly the same every single time. This ride is the second of two rides in the same night. In the first ride, my hands got really, really cold, and then they got colder, 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 and then I got to the point of hurting and I had to stop. In this ride, my feet got cold. Now, they never really got to the point where they really hurt, but it was interesting that my hands didn't get quite as cold, despite the fact the temperature was about two degrees lower. I've been trying to think of some reasons why this might happen, and it's kind of difficult to come up with a good one. Now, I can see why once one gets cold, it just gets worse. That's pretty simple to me. Basically, the body continues to try and shunt blood further and further away from that extremity. And so eventually, there's no blood warming it, despite, you know, whatever is going on with the body. But the question just is, why does it vary? Why one ride is it my hands, one ride is it my feet, another ride is my feet, and another ride is my hands? It just seems random. And, being a biological organism, random is a perfectly viable option. It just seems weird that the body would... It just seems the body would randomly shunt one to the other. I would imagine that one or the other would be biologically favored. But I guess it's not. I've been trying to figure out if maybe it's that I have warmer socks one time or not, or, or something. Because, I mean, the gloves are the gloves. They are no warmer or colder any day of the day. Now there is a possibility that it is all in my head. That is completely viable as well. Amazingly enough, when the brain thinks the body's cold, the body gets cold. And when the brain thinks the body's warm, the body gets warm. Uh, the mental aspects of the body are very unique and interesting. But it still just seems a little bit too random for me. But the phenomenon always seems to happen when it's like 23 or below. I noticed it a lot last year, uh, my the 2010-2011 season, uh, but I was cold all the time for that. Uh, but the rides at 28, 29, 30, 31, not so much a big deal. So it's kind of hard to say. All I know is it'd be great to have heated gloves, that's about one thing I can say, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen this year. And by the time you're watching this, it probably will be the end of the PVC anyway, so it really isn't worth it, is it? But who knows, maybe by now I've gotten the gloves and you've seen videos with those gloves. Unlikely, though. miles 
But I guess there's enough random rambling on this one for now. So I guess this is enough random ram So I guess that's enough random rambling on that topic for now. Besides the fact probably when I post this, it won't even matter at that point.